day, dear learners. Welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Doc Gilma. Are you ready, class, for the next lesson? So if you're ready, just sit back, relax, and listen carefully to the topic to be discussed for today. Alright, class, let's begin! The topic I will be discussing for today's lesson is all about segments and angles. In this particular topic, we will be discussing concepts of collinearity and betweenness, angle bisector, segment addition postulate, and angle addition postulate. Consider line L. From here, we have the following points on line L. We have point P, point Q, and point R. Take note, points P, Q, and R are collinear points. Since as you can see, they lie on the same line. Point Q is between points P and R. Points P, Q, and R has coordinates negative 5, negative 2, and positive 4 respectively. Number 1. What is the distance between points P and Q? If we are to determine the distance between point P and point Q, we simply get the absolute value of the difference between P and Q. That is, the absolute value of negative 5 minus negative 2, which is simply equal to the absolute value of negative 3. Simplifying further, this is simply equal to 3 units. Recall, if we are to determine the absolute value of a certain number, the possible answer will always be a positive number since we are just looking for the distance of a certain number in the number line. So take note of that. Number two, what is QR? Or simply the length of QR. Again, if we are to determine QR, we simply get the absolute value of the difference between point Q and point R. So we have the absolute value of negative 2 minus 4, which is just equal to the absolute value of negative 6. Simplifying further, it is simply equal to 6 units. Number 3, what is PR? Or simply the length of segment PR. Again, if we are to determine the length of segment PR, we simply get the absolute value of the difference between P and R. That is, we have the absolute value of negative 5 minus 4, which is just equal to the absolute value of negative 9. Simplifying further, it is simply equal to 9 units. Take note, given the coordinates of points P and Q, the distance or length of the points PQ is determined by the absolute value of the difference of their coordinates. Let's consider again line L. So from here we have points P, Q, and R with the following coordinates. Point P is negative 5, point Q is negative 2, point R is positive 4. Take note, 
points P, Q, and R are collinear points since they lie on the same line. Point Q is between P and R. Consider the segment addition postulate. Segment PQ plus segment QR is just equal to segment PR. As you can see, if you are to add segment PQ and segment QR, we simply have segment PR. Consider illustrative examples. If PQ is equal to 20 cm and QR is equal to 30 cm, what is segment PR? Applying segment addition postulate, we simply add the length of segment PQ and the length of segment QR. So we have 20 plus 30. This is just equal to 50 cm. Number 2. If segment PQ is equal to 15 meters and segment PR is equal to 22 meters, what is segment QR? Applying segment addition postulate, we simply get the difference of 15 from 22 for us to be able to get the length of QR. So from here we have 22 meters minus 15 meters. So this is just simply equal to 7 meters since the length of PQ plus the length of QR is just equal to the length of PR. Let's check. 15 meters plus 7 meters is simply equal to 22 meters. That is simply the length of segment PR. Number 3. If point Q is the midpoint of PR, and PQ is equal to 35 units, what is the length of QR? What is the length of PR? Take note, when we talk about midpoint, a midpoint divides a segment into two equal measures, two equal parts. So therefore, the length of PQ and the length of QR is equal. So if PQ is equal to 35 units, QR is also 35 units. What is the length of PR? Applying segment addition postulate, we simply have 35 units plus 35 units is simply equal to 70 units. Consider angle PQS. Angle PQS is formed by three intersecting rays. We have here ray QP, ray QR, and ray QS. As you can see in the given figure, the measure of angle PQR plus the measure of angle RQS will give you the measure of angle PQS. This is simply the angle addition postulate. Point R is an interior point of angle PQS. But Thus, the measure of angle PQR plus the measure of angle RQS is just equal to the measure of angle PQS. Consider an illustrative examples. Number one, 
if measure of angle PQR is 15 degrees and the measure of angle RQS is 35 degrees, what is the measure of angle PQS? Applying angle addition postulate, we just get the sum of the measure of PQR and the measure of RQS. So we have 15 degrees plus 35 degrees is simply equal to 50 degrees. The measure of angle PQS is 50 degrees. Number two, if measure of angle PQR is equal to 30 degrees and the measure of angle PQS is equal to 65 degrees. What is the measure of angle RQS? For you to be able to determine the measure of angle RQS, we simply get the difference of the measure of angle PQS and the measure of angle PQR. So we have 65 degrees minus 30 degrees. This is simply equal to 35 degrees. Number 3. If ray QR is an angle by sector and the measure of angle PQR is 40 degrees, what is the measure of angle RQS? What is the measure of angle PQS. Take note class. If we are to talk about angle by sector, an angle by sector is a ray or a line that divides an angle into two congruent parts, meaning the two angles are equal. So from here, if the measure of angle PQR is equal to 40 degrees, it follows that the measure of angle RQS is also 40 degrees since ray QR is an angle bisector, dividing the angle into two congruent parts. So the measure of angle RQS is simply equal to 40 degrees and the measure of angle PQS is simply 40 degrees plus 40 degrees so we have 80 degrees before we end our discussion for today let me first read to you a simple passage from the Bible coming from Hebrews Chapter 11, verse 6 And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Take note class, skills are developed through constant correct practice and there will always be a room for improvement. That's all for today. Stand by for more lessons. Stay safe everyone and may God bless us all.